so buying gas is HST exempt. But if you buy a bike to cut emissions and get more fit, they're going to slap a tax on it. So what's up with that anyway? I thought that they wanted us to cut carbon emissions. I thought they wanted us to get more fit. Every trip cyclists don't make by car cuts carbon emissions and increases fitness. Shouldn't government be supporting green, healthy choices by making them easier and more affordable? More on that from our next speaker, provincial environment critic Rob Fleming. Thank you, David. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Let me say, as the MLA for Victoria Swan Lake, since I own the podium just now, how proud I am that Victoria, Greater Victoria, is today the cycling capital of Canada. Seven percent of our commuters every day are on zero emission two-wheeled vehicles that I see so many of in front of me today. That's incredible in the, in the context of Canada. But you know what? As well as much of, as we have achieved in Greater Victoria and other areas of this province, there is so much more to be done. And just think how much better our cities would be if you had a government that instead of passing the budget, introducing the budget that was introduced yesterday, had values and vision in it that would support cycling infrastructure that would make British Columbia a true world leader on the stage of alternative transportation. <clears throat> as, other, as other speakers have mentioned, you know, it is incredible. David Coverley mentioned how ahead of, the, of his time, uh, Hugh Curtis and the government of the day was on this issue. It's incredible that for 30 years and through eight premiers, that progressive tax policy exemption was maintained through changes in government, through changes in leadership. But today, Gordon Campbell has said it will end. You know, you know, people across British Columbia want to be involved in their daily lives in efforts to tackle climate change. They want to do the right thing. They want to reduce their carbon footprints. And we need a province that has a climate action plan that adds up and makes sense and makes steps to reduce emissions provincially. But you know, the devil is in the detail. It's not in the green rhetoric and the speeches. It's in programs. It's in engaging the public to be able to do things. It's in incentivizing behavior and changing the way things are done in this economy to transition us towards a low carbon economy. And folks, we have taken a huge step backwards yesterday by making it more expensive to ride a bicycle and shielding four wheeled carbon emitting vehicles from taxes. It makes no sense. So look, this isn't the first bad, boneheaded decision that this government has made, and I dare say it won't be the last. But let's keep up the pressure, folks. This is one that is exorbitant and in sheer stupidity. Let's keep the pressure up and see if we can get them to reconsider that decision. And if they don't, well, every British Columbian gets to make the final decision in a few years' time. Thank you very much.